Today, we get to learn about static classes and static methods. Hey, do me a favor, like and subscribe. Hey Seymour, I'm headed out. Are you leaving soon? Why do you care? I need help. No. Why are you instantiating an aircraft? I there? need to use the flight time method. Why don't you just pull it out, make it static? I don't think it uses anything private. Why don't you get your eyebrows trimmed and donate them to Locks of Love? Oh, that's a good idea. It'll probably make some kid really happy. I'm gonna go do that right now. Thanks for the advice. Say hi to Moira for me. Eugene, love you looking at My name's Ryan. I like to help people get jobs. I like to use underscore M and remember variables. Yeah. Yeah, it should be static. So let's talk about the static keyword and what you should say if you're asked about it in an interview. And before we start, all the source code for this is on my GitHub or on my website. So if you're asked what is a static class or what is a static method, a static class is a class that can't be instantiated. And a static method exists on the type and not the object. But why is that useful and what is it for? Let's find out. Okay, so static void main is probably the most famous static method you've ever seen. But why is it static? Well, it's static because you need an entry point into your program. You can't really create an object if you don't have a program running to create an object. So think of static void main as the bootstrapper for your program. Now, back when you were new to programming, you probably did something like this. And you spent all night trying to figure out why you couldn't access number from void main. Well, static classes and static methods come with a couple of rules, one of which is you can't access anything non-static unless you passed it in. But there's other rules as well. Static methods can be overloaded, but not overridden. See these two methods add two numbers? I can overload these two guys all day, but I can't make add three numbers virtual because static methods can't be overridden. And if you have a static class, everything inside that class has to be static. And when it comes to inheritance, if you have a static class, you can't actually inherit from a static class. Put a pin in that, that's probably gonna be an interview question. And if you're asked a follow-up question as to why you can't inherit from a static class, the answer is that static classes are by default sealed. And if you wanna put an extension method on a static class, sorry, you can't do that either. So if you can't do anything with them, what are static classes good for? Well, if you just have to process something by passing it into a method, doing some work on it, and passing the result back out again, static classes really shine. So you've probably used system.math plenty of times, and system.math is a static class. You can't instantiate it, as you can see here. But what you can do is use some of the static methods that hang off of it to do something like absolute value. So this saves you a little bit of overhead if you wanna do something and you don't require access to private variables. Okay, think of it like this. Let's say you wanna grill some hamburgers. Would you go outside, build an entire patio, outdoor kitchen, whole set, grill the hamburgers, take the hamburgers back into the house and then tear down the entire patio? And then every time you want a hamburger, go through the same process? Of course you wouldn't. So if you wouldn't grill a hamburger by building an entire patio first, why would you instantiate an entire object just to use one method? This is the magic of static classes. They allow you to perform operations without the overhead of instantiation. So let's say I've been doing a lot of mathematics on lists lately, and I think, eh, it would just really be easier to have a class that just does math on lists. So I create a class called sums. And of course I have my constructor here, and uh, one of my methods is sum a list for decimal. And I'll leave it open. There, there might be other methods later, but right now I'm just concerned about doing sum a list for decimal. Okay, now let's say I want to instantiate this. I have to go to programs and I'm going to create a list. Let's assume some part of my program created a list. But every time I want to actually sum something, I have to instantiate sums and then send it that list. And this is fine if you're doing it once in a while. But let's say as time goes on, you start adding more methods to the sums class. And maybe you add something to the constructor. And now you have private member variables. And now just to get a summation of a list, you gotta create this monster class. Maybe there's a better way, especially if you're not using any of the private member variables in that class. So let's create a static method inside of this sums class. We're just gonna call it sum a static list. So in order to get this to work, we go to our program. We're already creating the list here. So now we just say sums and call sum a static list with the list. We don't have to instantiate anything. 
So what's faster in a real world example? So uh, here I took a list of numbers that goes up to 100. And I'm passing this list of numbers into some list that comes off of an instantiated object. I'm passing it into a static list that comes off of sums. And down here, I created a, uh, a static math operations class. I just pass a list of numbers into sum a list, and both those are static, static class, static method. So let's see which is faster. Okay, so creating the object and then passing it the list took 11 milliseconds to add up everything in the list. The static method took zero milliseconds to add up everything in the list. And the static class, static method took zero milliseconds. So static is a little faster because you don't have the overhead of instantiation. But should you go back and refactor all of your code where static could be beneficial? Probably not. Unless you have tangible evidence that these kinds of micro-optimizations will actually make things faster, it's probably not worth your time. It may also make logical or syntactical sense to keep your methods where they are instead of pushing them off to some utility class somewhere else. So if you're ever asked, what is a static class? A static class is a class that can't be instantiated. If you're ever asked, what is a static method? A static method is on the type and not the object. You can put a static method inside of a normal class, but anything inside of a static class must be static. And remember, static classes can't be inherited because they're sealed. And you use static classes and methods to avoid instantiation where it makes sense to do so. Good luck on your next interview. Uh -huh.